BruceDude.com. When I was a kid, my dad used to take me to get my hair cut at a barber shop. If I got a haircut with my mom, I'd go to a salon and just run around, be a little asshole, spray all the hairspray on the shelves, get my hair cut, get a sucker, and go the fuck home. But not at a barber shop, no. You sat your silly ass down and you got your goddamn hair cut, okay? You weren't dealing with your mom's best friend cutting your hair, you had a strange, angry man doing it. I walk into this place and everybody's smoking cigarettes. I sit in a chair and I'm thinking, this is where people get haircuts? Somebody's garage? Everybody smells like bourbon? And I remember sitting there and there was a bunch of Playboy magazines on the table in front of me. Just, uh, just some porn for, uh, for casual read. I'm like, Dad, look, Dad, look, there's porn on the table. Look it. Shut up. But look, there's porn. There's Playboy magazine. Shut up. We talked about this in the car. And then you get to pick, uh, which convict you want to cut your hair. You got the, uh, the bald guy with prison tattoos. Some guy with an eye patch. And then the, uh, the old guy. His hands are fucking shaking. He's over there. You can hardly see anything. He's giving everybody haircuts from the 1920s. I'm sitting there completely baffled. I'm like, what the hell? I'm getting my hair cut by pirates? And well, I guess I'll option with the bald guy. Because uh, bald people know a lot about cutting hair. And I'm looking at this nasty-ass barber chair. It's got dried blood all over it. Like, do I really want to sit there? Do I really want to get body lice? But you do it, because you don't want Cyrus the Virus from Con Air ripping your fucking arms off. Sit down, I start telling the guy, Oh, I want a number two on the sides and finger length on top. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want a fucking haircut, right? Look at the board over there, we have one option. Don't give me any of that fancy jargon. You want your hair shorter than it is now. Okay, I got it. You start making these weird-ass jokes. Jokes that you're not even sure are jokes at all. They're like, man, you're a cute kid. If I didn't know any better, I'd steal you off the street and take you home with me. <laughs> You're like, what the hell? Your eyes are fixed on the front door. Like, I could just leave. I could just get up and run out of here. Run down the street screaming and make a scene. You look back at your dad. He's fucking sleeping on the chair. Like, what the fuck, dad? Is this guy gonna fucking cut my hair? Is he gonna skim me alive? So they start cutting your hair, and you gotta be perfectly fucking still because uh, they'll cut you. And if they cut you, they'll yell at you because it's your fault. Stop fucking moving your head. Uh, all right, shit. Uh, I'll try not to blink. I'll try not to breathe at all, really. You're praying to Jesus. You're like, God, please, just get me through this. I'll give you all my Pokemon cards if you just take me to a salon. And then ten minutes later, they're done, and it's actually a really good haircut. You're like, holy hell, that's the best haircut I ever had in my life. Thank you, strange man with only four teeth in your head. You cut hair really good. And then you think, maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's worth a few cigarette burns and almost shit in your pants for a really good haircut. And then you're like, no, no, it's not fucking worth it. I'm in the car, I'm like, Dad, don't you ever fucking take me back there again, okay? You take me back there again, and I'm gonna be a drug addict rapist when I grow up. And then you'll find me years later, cutting hair at that fucking barber shop, scaring the shit out of little kids my age. God, your hair smells good. You sure you don't want to take your shirt off before we do this thing? Ha 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 ha.